it seems like trick-or-treating is in full swing right now. Let's check in right. with Sean for our full forecast. The sun is almost officially down, and look at that. Boy, a lot of gloom out there. I don't know. I'm, I, for one, like this kind of weather for Halloween. I wouldn't really want to see maybe a Santa Ana wind in 85 degrees, so I think it uh, sets the mood right, and we have a temperature right about 60 degrees. Feels like 60. Uh, everything is very blase in the atmosphere. Just a lot of humidity at the um, low levels, meaning we have our marine layer, and you can see the sunrise and sunset officially 607, so we're now kind of in the twilight hours and today you can see um, or minutes I should say uh, we didn't really change a whole lot a little bit of warming here and there from 24 hours ago overall just uh, kind of what we expected Saturday to Sunday not much change and that's exactly what we got with our temperatures a few areas dropping a couple other areas kind of bouncing back up a little bit but overall no one really seeing any big shocks from Saturday to Sunday currently uh, 50s and 60s we're gonna be heading into those 50s and eventually some high 40s for the coolest areas uh, right now the wind is very mild out of the north Northwest, just a very classic onshore flow. But way to our, our north, though, wind is really turning hard out of the south, and that's because the storm system is being fed by a little southerly flow. But uh, unfortunately, unlike this time 20 or one week ago, uh, this storm system is going to likely stay just a little bit too far to the north and just kind of keep uh, beefing up our marine layer, which is really entrenched with all these high humidity values across the board. And this is kind of fun, uh, something to watch and I mean, always keep an eye on, but we did it again. The Atlantic hurricane season has officially hit Wanda, which means we're all the way through their alphabet. And this is the second time, third time in written history, at least as far as I know, and the second time back-to-back uh, -back year. This is uh, pretty amazing. So Wanda's done. If we get another system, which is possible, they'll have to go to the secondary uh, uh, list, which is not Greek anymore. They'll have to go to another list, which is um, uh, on the National Hurricane Center uh, website, and you can look at that if you want. There's the storm system for us. It's a really large area of low pressure pushing well to our north, and unlike last week, all of this is not centered far enough south for us to have much in the way of concern. As we get a little bit closer, just that steady onshore flow. And now when I look at our future cast, we'll go ahead and see if we can bring in some rain. And a lot of the heavy and moderate stuff stays just up around the Monterey Bay area. And then right there, possibly as we head toward tomorrow afternoon, some of that does try to get into uh, our region, but it really just doesn't have a lot of push behind it. So uh, some sprinkles, probably anything measurable very unlikely anything widespread. So maybe a, a few places will get some trace amounts or maybe 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. As you can see right there, even our computer is uh, really having a hard time bringing it much farther south than about Monterey Bay. Maybe, uh, again, maybe Big Sur, the upper part of it, northern portion, and then as far as south of that, it starts to really dry out. So we tried, but at least Northern California is getting something, and that is always good news. And there are your temperatures for both Monday and then as we head into voting day for Santa Barbara on Tuesday, uh, we don't see a big swing. We do start to go up a bit, though, and that's because we expect to see just a little bit less of the onshore push once the storm system funnels through. Uh, maybe a little bit of some breezes along the Santa Barbara south coast out in the north, and that will help to warm us up just a tad bit. So Monday, again, kind of on the gloomy side and sprinkle chances the farther north and west you go. So just a very light chance, as I mentioned. If we see anything measurable, it would probably be in areas in San Luis Obispo County and pretty far to the north of that at best. So Ventura, southern Santa Barbara, probably not going to see much in the way of any real threats for anything other than just a lot of cloud cover. Surf is a little small, but it is expected to pick up again, uh, mainly out of the west, northwest over the next few days. And a quick look at our seven-day forecast for Santa Barbara, again, voting on Tuesday. We'll hold on to that fog, but we should see some better clearing. And then as we head into the remainder of the week, there's another storm system that knocks on the door about Thursday going into Friday. That one is not expected to bring sprinkles to anybody except for far north areas. I'll send it back to you, but we might get some wind, Tracy, as we head toward Friday for Santa Barbara. So we'll watch that closely. All right, thanks. And a logjam of cargo ships.